and need everybody to repeat after me. If you want it to. If you want it to. Truly. Truly. If you want it. If you want it to. My God, my God. Saints, I want to tell you something. When we hear that, we we, we get it misconstrued. We get it misconstrued. But I, we're going to break it down today and we're going to find out why we can't. Even when we want to. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. The Word of God reads in the New Living Translation. O Israel, says the Lord, if you wanted to return to me, you could. If you wanted to return to me, you could. You could throw away all your detestable idols and stray away no more. Then when you swear by my name saying, as surely as the Lord lives, you can do so with truth, justice, and righteousness. Then you will be a blessing to the nations of the world and all the people will come and praise my name. Tell them, say, if you wanted to. They don't, they, don't, they don't sound like they're ready to have church. Tell them, if you wanted to. If you wanted to. No, 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 no. Tell them, say, if you wanted to. If you wanted to. If you wanted to. And now we need to, somebody need to ask a question. What's keeping me from what I want to do? What's keeping me from doing what I want to do? What's keeping me from doing what I want to do? Just bear with me now and stay tuned now. I will surely not leave you standing. You may be seated. You may be seated. The word of God today says that if you truly wanted to, how many times have I desired to do something and, and I keep stomping my toe and stomping my toe? Anybody keep stomping their toe in something in life? Am, am, I the only, am, I, am I the only one stuck on stupid sometimes? And I come to tell you today that God says that you really don't understand the ingredient that it takes in order to get to where you need to get to. So we, 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 we get caught up in, 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 in our wants and when we don't get our wants we get emotional. Oh my God. Uh, when we don't get what we want and guess what? It's bad when you get emotional with God. I know you get emotional with God because you get emotional with people. And the reason you can't get nowhere because your emotions keep hindering you, bishop, minister, deacons, missionaries, saints. If you really, really, really wanted to, God says you could do it. And, I, and what I know, um, Deacon Will, that God can do anything but lie. My God. Amen. So why do I keep making God out of appear to be a it's not him that's lying, it's come on. Yeah, but y'all ain't y'all gonna be here all day. I tell them to wait, y'all, but it's not him that's lying, but me. He just told me, hey baby, how you doing? Good to see you. He just told me if you if you really, really wanted to, but the problem is I, I can't get into the assurance of, of the promises of God and the reason I can't get into the assurance of the promises of God because the people that's supposed to be helping me and building me up are wearing me down. You're supposed to be helping and building that brother up but instead you're wearing him down. He's supposed to be helping you and building you up instead he's wearing you down. The people that's supposed to be Helping you are wearing you down. And the reason we can't get to where we need to be because really and truly, we only say we want to with our mouths. But when the rubber meets the road, do I have what it takes? And I'm going to tell you, no, you don't. Do I have what it takes? No, I don't. But today, this is what I like about the spirit of Jesus. It's a building process. And today, today God's going to take us to another place where we can. Because the word just told me, if you want to, you could do it. You could love, you could be just, you could be fair. You could think about godly things, you can do godly things. But it's 
hidden. It's hidden, but yet it's right before you. And the reason we don't understand it, man, of God, is because we still lean on our own interpretation of what God wants us to, uh, what, what God wants to give us, instead of letting Him say what He wants to say and let it mean what He wanted to mean, and not be adjusting and compromising. And, and mold it. See, we want to we want to mold and shape God's word. And God's supposed to be molding and shaping who? Uh -huh. You ain't God. He's God. Amen. I'm gonna tell you something. And this is the this is the real problem. We done got so big and so full of ourselves. We think God need us. <laughs> we really think God need us. I think God need me to pastor this church. I get full of myself. You get full of yourself. You think God needs you to lead the choir. You get full of yourself. You think God needs you to administrate. You get full of yourself. You think God needs you to deep. You get full of yourself. You, you don't, God don't need you. God said, I can get a rock to do what you do. And the reason we can't get to that place is because we won't let God be God. You ever hear me pray and I say, I say, Lord, thank you for not leaving me in the hands of man. And, and thank you for not leaving me even in the hands of myself. Thank you for being what? God. Let God be God. And he's the only one that can tell you, that can take you where you can't go. Amen. There's no place that you desire to go and there's nothing you desire to have that God don't own. But why, what's the problem? The problem is, the problem is, I get caught up. Can I say it? Huh? I get up, we get caught up in events. And when there's not an event going on, we get depressed. And this is what life is all about. Instead of just finding a medium. Y'all hear this? We gotta find a medium. We don't want to go up on a roller coaster and we don't want to go down on a roller coaster. Give me a roller coaster that an old man can ride. They go straight. Come on, somebody. Y'all feeling what I'm saying? Yes. But see, the bottom line is, if I go up, now gravity gonna take me where? So now, when you go down, why you get? Why are you frowning? You can't go nowhere but down since you all that in the back of church. Sooner or later, you got to come down off that mountain. So I need you to. I need you, next time you see me propping myself up, or the next time I see you propping yourself up. Okay, I'm gonna get it. Chop you on your knee. I'm gonna hit, hit you on your knee. Say I hit the hardest that I hit you. Might have been a message in there. <laughs> this is what I need. Next time I see you leaning over, I'm gonna come over here and prop you back. <laughs> I'm saying all this to say this, saints. The word of God says the reason I, I don't do what I, I want to do, and I, we heard Paul say the things I want to do, I don't do. And the things I don't want to do, I do. But the reason we don't do it is because we don't understand that we can. The word of God clearly says, it says, if you wanted to return to me, Amen. I really don't want to return to God. And then I, so now, so now when I get, when I leave here today, I'm going somewhere after hearing a word like this, and I'm gonna check my spiritual inventory out. Lord, do I really, do I really want to be with you, or do I like how you make me look? Come on now. And when I ain't looking, when I ain't, when I ain't looking up, ain't nobody calling my name, or I ain't preaching. Can I shout for another preacher? Can I prop up another preacher? Can I prop up another saint? Do my name always have to be called? If your name always got to be called, you full of your. Come on now. And something wrong. See, the self can't do nothing for self. But get in God's way. Self can't do nothing for self, but get in God's way. And I'm going to tell you like this. Joshua 24 and 17 said, As for me and my house, I will serve the Lord. But see, the problem is we hear this word serve. And we don't appropriate the word in the manner that it should be appropriated. So when we hear served, we we hear we 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 figure like you know my my my, my mom and them they cook they cook they, they they had pizza, they had pizza and pasta and, and seafood pasta and 
Yeah, they, you know, they had to have some chicken for a brother. So they had a little chicken for a brother, you know. And, and, and my mama fixed me, my wife fixed my plate. And she served me my plate. And see, that's what we, when we hear the word serve, that's what we, that's where we go. We're looking at like we gotta, I gotta do something for you. I gotta, I gotta give you something or, or I gotta expect you to give me something. But we're missing it because we really don't know what service is. And that's, I, I didn't say you're missing it. I said who? We. we are missing it because we really don't know what service is. Come on, somebody. Come on. It says, it says, it, it, it clearly says, it says, if you wanted to return to me, you could. And look at the thing that you, you can't get rid of. That nasty disposition. That evil spirit. That gossiping spirit. That angry spirit. He said, and clearly right here, he said, you could throw away your detestable idol and stray away no more. Wouldn't that be nice? Come on, come on. Wouldn't that be nice? For my house not to be desolate anymore. Do you realize you have a desolate house? Y'all know what a desolate house is? Desolate means empty. See, because you gotta understand, God said, God said, if I ain't got all of you, I don't want. If you can't give me all of you. I don't want none of you. So that means if, I, if I'm still, if I'm still dipping and dabbing, that means that that means my house is ready to truth be told, my house is still empty. I don't know about y'all, but I'm tired of my house being desolate. What about you? Yeah. Ain't you tired of your house? You know, you, 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 ain't you tired of having to go to the grocery store? Wouldn't it be nice to just open the refrigerator? The little refrigerator. Baby, when you went shopping? I thought you went. It wouldn't be nice. Every time you want free, it's just there. God did it. Got your house. Just replenish it, replenish it, replenish it, replenish it. Your house is never empty. Wouldn't that be nice? Let God replenish. And what God has said, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And saying something I'm tell you right now, we got to get to the root of service. The root of service is you heard, you heard, you heard, you heard this before, but I gotta put you there because we're getting ready to step into a new year. We we just realized that we were born. Remember, son, um, on, on Christmas Day, we realized that who was, who was born of the Holy Spirit on Christmas Day. Now that we've been born of the Holy Spirit, we gotta know how to serve up the Holy Spirit. Amen. It ain't talking about Kawasaki, motorcycle, Yamaha. It ain't speaking in tongues. That ain't serving up the Holy Spirit. The way you serve up the Holy Spirit is get to a place and you get rid of the word conditional and unconditional. When you when you really start serving for real, for real, you don't even you don't even consider those words conditional or unconditional when you apply love. There is no weight on love. There's no little bit of love. There's no lot of love. There's no unconditional love. There's no, if you got, if you got conditions on your love, you ain't love. Amen. If you got conditions on your love, you ain't serve. Anytime I do not yield, watch this. Come on. What am I going to Anytime I do not yield to who? Uh -huh. Huh? Uh huh? I knew y'all were going to say that. Come on, bitch. And that's what these churches have taught us. There's no evidence of yielding to God if I can't yield to you. Come on. There's no evidence of yielding to God if I cannot yield to the one God put in front of me to show him that I am a yielder. Amen. Amen. Everybody want to say, I can't yield to God. I can't yield to God. Because you can't yield to the one God put in front of you. It's got to be your way or no way. You can't give up nothing except without weighing what it's going to cost you. You cannot give up nothing without weighing what it is going to cost you. And when you understand what that song said today, and, 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 and when, 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 when Whitney sang it, sang it, I remember Kevin Cosner. He's he standing over there. He getting ready, she getting ready to get on the plane. He done did his job. He really want to go, but he can't go. He's standing over there, and it looked like she's singing to Kevin Cosner. But when you apply those words to God, I will always, I will always love you, Lord. Regardless of what, whatever, whatever, whatever they say about you, Lord, I know it ain't true because you're a God that, that is just, you're a sovereign God. You're a God that can do anything but lie. 
If they talk about Jesus, they're going to talk about who? If you are a child of who? It comes with the territory because you're a foreigner here. You are a foreigner here in this world. You are... Well, I don't understand. How many people know grace is real? How, how, many, know, how many people know um, God told Paul, and he's telling you through Paul, my grace is sufficient? Why did he say my grace is sufficient? Anybody know? See, what y'all want, y'all want grace one time and it be over. God know you're going to fall again and again and again and again. But the bottom line is, saints, he's not talking about falling in your behavior. He's talking about falling in your love for him. See, we get so caught up in our behavior until we miss what's really important. God bless you. We get so caught up in our behavior till we miss what's really important. Falling in and out of love for God, with God. Falling in and out of love with God. We lose somebody. We lose a loved one. We fall out of love with God. We get mad with him. We lose our job. Fall out of love with God. My, 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 my wife make my man. I make her mad. We, Lord, why you let? Why you gave me that woman? Why you gave me that man? We fall. We fall out of love with God. We ain't falling out of love with the person. Our enemies. That's your testing ground. Not your, not not the people you're supposed to love. The people that you you're not expected to love. If you can love them, you surely gonna love the people you're supposed to love. But the problem is this, saints. This is, this is why God said His grace is sufficient. Because His preparatory school is beyond your understanding. His prep, the way He prepped you is beyond your understanding. And, 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 and um, um, Minister Nisa and I, we were on the phone the other day about two hours. And we were talking about purgatory. And Minister Nisa, you know what God told me? Remember what purgatory was? Purgatory was a holding place. Y'all listen to this. And, I, and, and then I want you to see into this. Every, the Catholics had me believing in purgatory. Because when, when I wasn't baptized, they said, if you ain't baptized, if you don't get Christian as a Catholic, you go to purgatory. You don't go to heaven out here. But I'm going to tell you something. But, but, the, but, the, but the thing is this. The definition of purgatory, y'all know the definition of purgatory is a holding place while God makes you right with him. While he purifies you. Y'all hear this? You're a holding place while God purifies you. Amen. I'm going to show you how, how wrong the teacher is because of what they believe instead of just looking at what it is. And I told Mr. Nisha, I said, Mr. Nisha, we really can't talk about purgatory in the church because they can't understand it. And they couldn't understand it because it was not given to them at the place of which it is. Y'all know what purgatory is? Y'all really know where purgatory is? A holding place while God purifies you. What that sound like? What that, what that sound like, Mr. Nisa? Hello? What that sound like? Hello? We're in purgatory. God is purifying you. But the problem is you don't want to accept how he pure. Do you realize? I ain't said this in a long time. Do you realize a diamond? When they pull a diamond out of the African mine, it is an ugly rock. It is a ugly, it looks like a rock. Boy, they get a rock off the ground. It looks just like that rock. And then it has to go through the what? Purification. It has to go through the fire. And then it got to be shot when it goes through the cooling waters. It has to be. It has to be refined. Amen. You don't want God to refine you. But I'm telling you today, I'm telling you today, and I want you to understand if you don't understand nothing else. I want you to understand today, if you wanted to, you can do anything you want to do. My Lord. Amen. But the problem is, Jesus. we are not accepting the purification of God. And what is the purification of God? Can the, can the gold, when they, once they find the, the, the diamond, can the diamond say, I don't want to go to the fire? <laughs> it has no choice. You want to say, uh, Lord, I don't mind you. I don't mind you putting me through this, but 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 you know, don't, don't put make make sure you do it this way or, or that way or, or this way, and that's why you still your house still desolate. 
Because you want to tell God how to shape how you want to be made. Come Instead on, of letting, letting God make you the way he said you should be made. Come on, Bishop. Let God purify you. I don't understand. I get so frustrated with this thing called life. My Lord. I get so frustrated with this thing called life on behalf of my daughter, on behalf of the minister, on behalf of the minister, and on behalf of you all. I get so frustrated with this thing called life because I, I finally came to the conclusion we're being purified. My Lord. You can go this way, Angel. The rest of them, go right there. You, 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 I want you to stumble like that. You're being purified. And the rock cannot, the diamond, the rock has no choice. Once it, once it is found, it has no choice. It, it, it can't say, it can't say, I don't want them. It can't say, I don't want them. Go through the fire. It's got to go through the fire. Yes, yes, yes. And everybody can't understand when you burn. Mm. Everybody wants to see you in your refined state, in your finished state. And as long as you're on this earth, you are being what? Purified. You're being made. You're being made right with God by God, not for nobody else, but for Himself. Amen. So God said, "There's nothing you can't do." He said, "If you wanted to, if you wanted to what? Stop sinning, trick of the enemy. If you wanted to what? Stop lusting, trick of the enemy. If you wanted to what? Stop getting angry, trick of the enemy. That's what we're aiming at." And ain't nothing but a distraction, my son. And God is trying to show us, God is trying to show us what, what, is, what is hindering I want to. And for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And for me and my house, I will love the Lord. That's what service is. Love. If you are a Christian, you're serving up nothing but love. You get mad at somebody, you serve up what? Love. Somebody talk about you, you serve up what? Love. But the world will condition us to do everything but. Amen? Amen. Huh? Yes. And see, because that's, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Adam, Adam changed all of that. And Jesus came to restore. One man brought sin and death. Another man brought holiness and life. Holiness and life. Y'all think about that now. When Adam came, after Adam, all men did what? All men did what, Mr. Nisha? All men died. Y'all agree with that? After Adam sinned, all men what? Died. Now, if, if Adam, if, if Jesus came to correct what Adam did, and all men died after Adam sinned. When Jesus came and walked this earth righteously, all men are going to what? Yeah. Hello. It ain't complicated, but they want to scare you into doing right. And, and you know what? What we do, you know, we we, we some bad Negroes. We some bad Negro. When you scare me, get what I do? I, I rise up. I rise up, and I try and I and I try to show whatever I'm scared of. I'm not scared of it. And that's how the devil draw you into your sinful act. I rise up. And church that got me up, got all of us scared of doing right or wrong. And we, we, I'm wrong, I'm right, I'm right or wrong. Instead of being righteous, I can't get away from that right now. Amen. Churches have scared y'all to the point that you, you, can, you, can be, you can be in the place of God temporary. Because you know we've we just been conditioned to be competitive. <laughs> And that right, Sister Dean. So when you tell me I can't, I, I try to prove that I can. Even if it means sinning and getting away with it. Y'all understand it? Y'all understand this? Anybody been in that battle besides me? Huh? I need you to understand, saints. I didn't come here today to make you feel good. I didn't come here to jump up and down. I came here today because I need you to understand. We got to start serving up love. Without question. Without question. God, God, God puts up on our plate. He got something on our plate right now. He's got something on our plate. That seems impossible. By this church, really, really, with the state of our giving, seems what, Mr. Lisa? Seems impossible. 
But God say, y'all have been diligent. Y'all have y'all have paid y'all have paid y'all have paid the rent on time. Ain't never been late. Ain't never missed it. And it wasn't because of I give it. It was because of the grace of God. I am what I am by the grace of the Almighty Father. Yes. Amen. If it had not been for His grace, Brother Stephen Brown, where would you be? Where would I be? Y'all remember my, my brother Vernon Moody? Y'all remember Moody? The, the guy that I, I, I gave twenty dollars. He was like, no. And I gave twenty dollars. He told me, he said, Bishop, I'm telling you right now, I'm going to get high. He said, but I'll be in church Sunday. I want to tell y'all about that $20. I didn't say, man, give me my money back. Let me tell y'all about that one of the $20. That one of the $20, he came to church when he said it was going to come. That one of the $20, he came to church over here for two months. That one of the $20 got him out of the halfway house and got him into the fishes. That one of the $20 got him a girlfriend. You know Moody. That one of the $20 got him a mate. That one or two that I was can't, had, can't even say, he said, he said, he said, cuz, cause we, he got caught because he said, cuz, I, I love you, man. You, you got me back straight, but I, I want to go back over to my home church. I said, brother, I done did what God called me to do. That one or two that I was got him back over to his home church. That one or two that I was, uh, 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 brother told me that. I said, how? I, I, I said, man, how Moody do it? He said that, that one of the $20 had Moody and not, not, not in the food line looking for food, but in the food line serving food. That one of the $20. Yeah. And, the, and then he told me when he when I gave it to him, I'm going to get high, but I'll be in church Sunday. I could y'all would have said, give me my money back. But that one of the $20. You don't know how God is going to use you. One little twenty dollars, and then even when I gave it to him, it didn't appear that he was he was going to be. It didn't appear that he was going to end up where he ended up because of where he was going at the time. My Lord, that one little twenty dollars. Y'all hear me? Yes. You know why? It wasn't the twenty dollars I gave. I served up. No, I served up. Hello. Serve up love. See, y'all would have, when he said he was going to get high, y'all would start preaching to him. Man, you know, man. Hell, that man know all, everything you done said. He, he going he gonna to hear it, chew it up, spit it out, and ask you for another 20. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got nothing but him right there. He, he going he gonna, to he gonna listen to you, and, and, and then he going to charge you for listening. That's real. So y'all let the man go do what he gonna do and let God do what he gonna do. And that one little 20 dollars, look where he at today. He ain't in the food line, he's serving. All right. Yes. Yes. And you tell me what the word says today. The word says, clearly it says, clearly it says, if you wanted to. If you really, it, it ain't if you want to get out of your sin, if you really want to love God. When you love God, you give out love, and when you give out love from your heart, no matter what state you're in, no matter what you're doing or not doing, when you you just keep giving God, you just keep giving love, you just keep giving love, and then you have testimonies like Brother Vernon Moody. I don't understand what's going on in your life. You want me to tell you, you want me to tell you everything's gonna be alright. But if I tell you that it'll be a lie because God wouldn't tell you his grace is there. He know you're going to need the grace. He know you're going to need it. <laughs> because you are not purified, you are being purified. Y'all understand? And what y'all want, what y'all want right here, y'all want a y'all want a pastor that's going to stand up here and y'all want him to already be purified. <laughs> y'all can take that pressure. Y'all ain't putting that pressure on me. I promise you that. Y'all, y'all, y'all put that pressure on me. I'm gonna pull this and this and pull this and can't hear and hear and hear. I ain't gonna hide from you. I'm gonna tell you something, and I'm through. I'll tell you something. We gonna pray. We gonna pray because some people need some prayer here today. I'm gonna tell you something. There's some people in here. There's some things going on in their lives. And don't nobody know what's going on in your life. But who know? Why do you think he ain't told nobody else your truth? Because they can't handle your truth. They can't handle your preparation. They can't handle your purification. Huh? 
And the only reason your purification is not being on your, your purification process ain't been exposed, cause love co covers a multitude of that's the only reason. That's the only reason. The only reason I'm standing here today, that when I was be being beat down by those streets, I yet kept loving. Y'all hear me? Huh? That's the only reason I'm standing here today. And God had all my business in the street. And then when he started the, pur the, the purification process, guess what? This is the trick of the enemy. When he starts the purification process, just because nobody don't know don't mean you keep doing it. Y'all hear me? Yeah. He's shielding you. He's purifying you. It ain't everybody's business. Now, now you're in a one-on-one -on -one place with God, and God said, I'm working with you. It ain't, it ain't for them to tell you down, because they, they, they'll tell you, you ain't what I'm trying to make you. Everybody hear this? Amen. I hope this, I hope y'all, I, I know y'all about to go to sleep on me today, but but I hope y'all feel in this. Yes, amen. Come on now. He said, he said, you, you, what, what was that? Yeah. If I want to. If I want what? If I want to love God, I can. I can't stop sinning. I can't stop lying. I can't stop doing the things I don't want to do. But if I start loving God, guess what? Sin don't want to have nothing to do with who? Lying don't want to have nothing to do with who? Huh? Anger don't want to have nothing to do with who? Y'all hear me? I can't make it go away. But if I can just love God, like, 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 like witness say, and I will always love you. I mean, always. If I can just get to that always. Not loving myself. Not loving my wife. But loving God. If you want to. You don't try. You don't try. You 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 don't, you don't want to. You don't want to find a good man. And you still you know you still looking at. You might have one. Day. You want to get married? You know you can't do nothing about it. But at least you got a date. Now. I got a date. <laughs> and, 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 and be careful now, because April thirty might just be a date, not a wedding. Be careful. <laughs> But I'm just saying. <laughs> but what I'm saying, I can't stop doing the things I don't want to do. But if I get in the presence of God, the things that I don't want to do don't want to have nothing to do with God. If I want to, I want to quit this. I want to quit that. I can't quit this. I can't quit that. But ain't nothing gonna stop me from loving God. And the process of see, they don't teach us this. They teach us, they teach us, well, if you do wrong, you're going to hell. They're trying to scare you. If you if you love Jesus, you're going to heaven. That's right. Jesus came and brought life. Adam brought death. He brought death to all men. God, Jesus brought life to all men. Only way you don't go to heaven is you don't want him. You you blaspheme the Holy Spirit. You tell him I I denounce you, God. You are you are a servant of Satan. That's the only way you don't because you don't want to go to heaven. But if you if you uh, if you know Jesus and you love Jesus and even if you die in sin and you know Jesus, you just gonna lay down. But you going to heaven. Y'all understand? Because he he went down he went down beyond the grave. When when he went down beyond the grave, he left that grace, the same grace he got right here. He left it down there beyond the grave. Because he brought life to men, Adam brought death. There was no death before Adam sinned. Do y'all understand that? But after Adam sinned, every man did what? So now if Jesus came to reverse the curse, that means now that Jesus came, every man is going to what? Live forever. Amen. Some of us going to wait. Because we, we, we think we won't stop sinning and you can't carry sin into heaven. So you're going to have to lay down and wait. And I don't want to know that God is real and I can't be with him, huh? But I want to be on that train of resurrection. That resurrection train. The one, the one when, he, when, he, when he come, when he come and he said, you ready, Maurice? Come on, let's go meet the Father. And then when I go meet the Father, 
I ain't, I ain't, I ain't got to worry about him telling me to go take a nap. <laughs> I want to be able to say, come on in, son. Come on in. Because you have been purified, and the thing about it is you accepted the purification. How do I know? Because you're now sinless. You're not going to get there overnight. And you're not going to get there unless you want to love God. Unless you want to love God. How many people feel like they're falling short? My Lord. How many people feel like they can do better? My God. Huh? How many people really, 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 really want to do better? Amen, amen. You don't really want to do better? Come on, Bishop. You need to have both hands. You need to have hands and legs up in there. I got, I got hands, legs, arms, pinky toes, big toes. I got them all stuck up. I want to do better. And the only thing I've been missing, baby, I've been fighting the enemy instead of loving God. And then the, and the enemy said, oh, no, I, can't, I don't want to have nothing to do with you now. You got the popo with you. <laughs> y'all know, know what I'm saying? You in the street? Let somebody know that you you hanging out with a snitch. Oh. Ain't nobody want to be around you. You don't know, no, nobody want to be around the popo. And it's the same way. Don't no want no nobody want to be around the enemy. The, the, the demons don't want to be around God. They see God with you. They gonna say, Oh y'all, you, you know, we was coming to put some on you, but you got you got you got, you got no nah, no nah, we good <laughs> we good. My God, fall in love with God. And stop fighting what you a battle you can't win. When they see God with you, huh? Well, guess what, Saint? You gotta want him. See, but my thing is, I've been caught up deep because I don't get, I didn't get this kind of teaching. Y'all understand? I didn't get. I got church. You know how many people? You know how many people out there still still drink, drinking that blood, thinking they gonna get wiser. <laughs> because of church <laughs> They got church They didn't get, they didn't get the, pure, the purification of the word The word is, is pure, simple It's not complicated If I got the police with me Don't no drug dealer want to follow me Don't no murderer want to be around me Don't no liar want to be around me Now if I got the police, if I got God with me Don't none of them want to be with me But if, now if you think I'm playing If you out there and you in the street And you carry the police with you Everybody, they don't want to have nothing to do with you If they see you talking to them too long Man, I'm talking to that nigga, that's snitch. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's the same way with God and the demons. When the demons see God with you, they don't want to have nothing. Oh no, no, no! We was coming to have a party with you, but now you, you got, now you got God with you. I'm no good. I'm good. I don't want, I don't want none of that right now. Y'all understand? That's what we've been missing. Falling in love with God and carrying Him. You feel this? Do you feel this? Do you feel this? You, you, you like you about going lady. You all right? How many months you live? Seven? Yeah. You better be careful because they have no baby to sell. They, they, he in the right position to come out right now. Eight, they flip again. Yeah, but they in the position to come out right now. So you, might, you better you watch her. I'll keep a good eye on because she look like she about to, she about to, she got contractions or something leaving all over her. Make sure God with you right now, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you alright? Nisa, come on here and, 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 and do something with her, Nisa. Listen, Nisa. Because she really is. She, she, you alright? You, you, you need some attention? Medical attention? You sure? Huh? Okay. Alright. All right. Y'all got this? Everybody get the word today? Everybody enjoy the word today? Yeah, Fall in love with God. I want to. I want to quit this. I want to quit that. I want to stop this. And, and so, you know what get me when, when, when the way I have to learn, <laughs> the way I that would get me. I look at y'all and I, I see what y'all go through, and I see what I go through, and I see what y'all going through, and then God get. I said, Lord, it's so simple, and that is so. And it, don't that make a lot of sense? Deep, carry God with you. Stop, stop letting your love for God be interrupted, and then guess what? Drama won't be drama. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. 
אני 